Hey, child. How y'all doing today? Happy New Year's. It's the New Year's 2020. I know everybody is here that's able to look at this video. You're blessed. We've made it to another decade, to a brand new start, a brand new year, brand new opportunity to do what we need to do and get it right. You know, we have a clean slate with a clean year and hopefully everything that we've done in the past is the past. And we don't have to worry about the mistakes of 2019. We're gonna press forward to the goals we're setting for 2020. That year is gone. The dead is dead, it's dead and gone, but that's all right. And, and also too, if you're looking at this video on YouTube or if you're looking at this on Instagram, please make sure that you go to the YouTube page and follow me. It's my name, Deshaun Gray, D-E-S-H-O-N-G-R-A-Y. Just follow me and subscribe, please. I appreciate it. I hope I'm entertaining and worthy enough because I don't take it for granted that people come and like and watch and spend time looking at me talk about nothing and everything at the same time. <laughs> but good morning. I'm here. And um, I know it may feel a little weird for some people who've been listening to my little Hey Child conversations. No T.D. Jakes is on today. I don't have Bishop Jakes on today. No particular reason. I just... But actually, you know what? I did want to kind of get a little down and dirty and I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to disrespect the good prophet by having a little conversation. But what the fuck is up with these motherfuckers still in 2020 asking for new pictures? Like, we 40 and 50 and 30 and way past the age to be sending fucking titty and dick and pussy pics. Like, really? Y'all still want to see that? Like, turn on Pornhub. You can see it for free. Like, that's just really ridiculous to me that we are as adults still asking for people and and for, for people to send us new pics of our bodies. And we're still here doing, you know, but I guess, you know what, it's a market for it, apparently, but not here. My little Glam Glow Glow starter. You know, I got to moisturize. I ain't going to forget today to moisturize. Glam Glow. Mm, uh, glow. It's not even clear. It's not. Well, it's, I'm really new. I tell you what it is. It's really nice. And I love it. It smells like a cream sickle. Mm, I love it so much. But I, again, you know, I don't, have to, I don't have to keep saying, saying a tutorial. So I'm just letting y'all know what I use. Anyway, back to my original point. <sighs> I think we um, get to a point where we have to just like look respectfully at ourselves and also um, be reminded and be responsible for the energy that we're allowing to come into our space to say, I want to see you a picture of you naked. Like, why? I know it, people... <sighs> I know people have their reasons, be it they're perverted or whatever the case, whatever the reasons are. You know, I'm not here to judge. I don't do that judging on this channel, but what the fuck? <laughs> like, you have some people, I, I, I was talking to this guy and, you know, first of all, I'm always leery of people who are in this new decade, this new millennium, this new whatever life we're living now of technology that say, oh, I don't have social media. Everybody got social media. Your grandmother got social media. My aunt's got social media. Like, really? Especially if you meet somebody on a dating site, that's social media. <laughs> media to socialize. <laughs> if you're dating someone, picking up somebody, looking at their kids, birthday party pictures, whatever the case may be, Instagram, Facebook, you know, YouTube, whatever. The, it's all social media, baby. We all have social media. Don't lie and say that. But I have figured out, um, I know why a lot of people say that, especially men. I'm not coming down on the men, but you know, a lot of y'all is on some bullshit, bruh. Like, come on now. A lot of y'all, a lot of these men say that because they don't want you to see them with their wives and their girlfriends and their families because they're lying to you, telling you something totally different. Sir, we're on a social media site that's not acceptable. It's not even a, it's not even a well thought out lie. Damn. But, um, it's, it's, a, it's a new year, and it's, it's, it's an opportunity right now, like I've been telling you all before. I just truly believe that this is a year that we're going to see a lot of different people doing some phenomenal things, and we just don't want to bring that other energy into this particular time. We have, a, like I said, just still told, said, we have a clean slate. It's January 2 right now. It's only two days into 2020, and um, we don't want to plant no seeds of this is how we're going to continue our year. Melanie Mills. Deep gold. This is my gleam body radiant. I love it. Anyway, 
And that's what I was on right now because I just felt I was I saw this post earlier too, which was inspiring. <laughs> it was like in 2020, you either need to date new men or date no men. <laughs> Cause everything, all the roster or and that goes for men too. Date new women or no women. Like the roster that we had or however y'all want to call the stable of men or women, however y'all like to call y'all black book. Because that's all it is, is the black book. Whatever name you like to use, delete it. If it didn't work, then it's not going to work now. Do people get new and fresh starts on their lives? Definitely. When it comes to certain things. But who you are innately, a tiger don't change their stripes. Does a tiger have spots? Cheetahs have spots. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I meant when I said what I said. Anyway, I mean, you know, especially if you're not seeing... Now, do people can change their personality and characteristics. That's fine. If that's what they wanted to do. If they're changing it for you, then they're, the real them will show up eventually. But if they're doing it because they just want to do that for themselves and you get to pro possibly take benefit of that, then that's something totally different. But if they're just, if they're just telling you this because they want to try a different angle at getting at you... Don't buy that shit. Leave it on the shelf. Matter of fact, go to another aisle. <laughs> That's for men and women. Shit. Go somewhere else. Matter of fact, go to another store and shop, honey. You got to figure things out. And be more open to different types of people, too. Um, I'm not saying change your sexuality or change, you know, that, whatever. In, unless it's something that you really have been exploring and want to do. I'm not saying that. When I say type of people, I mean, like, stop. If, you, if you've been... I, I've said this on the show before, too, on Plop Life. Y'all make sure y'all catching our Plop Life people love other people's problems. I've said this on the show, too, before. On, the only thing that's in a trash can is something someone thrown away. Now, there are, sometimes you can find valuable things in trash cans. Like, that's why they have thrift stores and Goodwills and all the stuff like yard sales and stuff like that. But, it, and, but at minimum, it's something somebody didn't want. So it does not mean that it wasn't that was it wasn't good because sometimes people have things that they, they throw away that they didn't they didn't know how to use. Some things were misused. That's a, that's something totally different too. But just keep in mind that if you're not reading the directions or the signs or take heed what you got it from, you're probably gonna end up throwing it away too. But it does not have to be the case. Because we've probably been somebody, I'm, I'm sure I'm probably been somebody that somebody threw away too. But I know I'm a good woman. <laughs> and a great one at that. But I'm telling you right now, baby, understand that. Um, that was my crown on stick I put on today. Crown on stick. This is uh, color number V19. V19. Anyway, um... Yeah, just but 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 if but I only the real only reason why I use that analogy is because if you keep getting your people from that particular area or a particular site or particular club or atmosphere, whatever the case may be, and you keep getting disappointed, try another area, darling. Don't keep going back to the place that disappoints you. You don't have to do that. Be open. And be mindful. And also, just because these people have been disappointing you, we also have to take responsibility as well. Because in all these situations that we are failing in or not doing, or not, or not even say failing, not being as successful as we set out to be, we have to realize that we are the common denominator. Everywhere you go, you are. You're there. Okay? So... Be mindful of that. So go into it with an open mind. Go into it with a spirit of, you know what, let me try it differently and let me not revert back to what I used to do because I'm going to keep getting that same result and I don't like it. <sighs> and if you are a person who is out there asking people for, you know, pictures of their body parts that are not generally seen by the public, then um, don't be mad when they say no. And go fuck and go and go to fuck somewhere. Like, would you want somebody walking up to your mama asking her to see her her unmentionables? No, 
Would you want somebody walking up to your sister, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, your your um uncle, your dad, someone, let me see that thing? No, you would not. So just understand that when you walk around asking people for women for that or men for that, that's somebody's that's somebody's son, that's somebody's daughter, that's somebody's loved one. And if if y'all both mutually agree upon that, that's fine. But don't get mad when the other person say no. Okay. Just don't. Yeah, but you know what? I always want to keep it positive too, because, like I said, you know, uh, like I said, we, there's no judgment on this channel. I'm just saying, when it, I'm just talking about, for me and my experience, what I have been like. I'm not going into the world. I'm not going into this. My, I'm not going to the next part of my life like that. That's just that's nasty. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. If I decide I want to send you something that I don't want nobody else to see, let me send it. Don't just come asking me for that and let that be the de determining factor whether or not you want to continue to pursue me. Like, really? But you know what? You can't be mad at that. You can never be mad at understanding. You can never be angry at... You can never be angry at understanding. Because now you have clarity on what this person's about or what they may not be about. And um, you can have a decision. You know... My whole thing is, I know it's, it's happening out there, and I'm like, I'm just like, I thought we was past that shit right now. I'm like, that's just some shit. That's just that's some shit that really, personally, just my opinion, should stay in 2019 or stay in the last decade. <laughs> don't bring that shit in right now. That's horrible. Don't put, don't put that in your in the atmosphere. And I think some of these people do it, and they don't realize, especially some of the younger people. And I'm not saying that only younger people are doing it because it's not. But I'm not. But it's but some of the younger people don't don't they don't see the value or see past tomorrow a lot of time. Not all the time. I'm not judging everybody, putting everybody in a little box. But like one day, what if you want to be senator? What if you want to be president? What if you want to be CEO of some particular company or work for the government? And they put up these pictures of you and your mama too or whoever else that may be in part of your, your life and be like, um, well, you know, back in 2000 A, B, and C, you was out there giving ass shots and poking it up and sticking it down. Pulling it up and sticking it <laughs> doing all that. And so how can we take you seriously in this job? And you're gonna to want to defend yourself by saying, Well, I was young and which is fine, because we all we all have been there, but that's not always acceptable for some particular companies and businesses. You the fact that you were young, they don't care nothing about that. Oh, Barack Obama was young. Huh. Come on. Maxine Waters was young. Angela Rye was young. I'm not, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying these people are older now, but you're not finding them stuff like that out there about them people. Right there. Hell, I was young. Well, you might be able to see something. Well, let me see. Hold on. <laughs> I'm silly. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I ain't gonna judge you, honey. I just sent a couple of uh, photos of people. Uh, you know, I ain't doing no photo. So don't ask. Don't ask at all. Yeah, but I'm so glad. But above all that, past all that, I'm so grateful and honored to be here. We crossed over. We're in the new year. Um, and we find some things out that we want to do with our lives. This is by Ben I, Cream Foundation and Deep Ebony. Just doing a lot of like contouring right now, John. But anyway, um, we are trying to figure out and plan what we're going to do with our lives and um, how we're going to proceed into this next year or these next 10 years or this next month. Take it however you feel like you need to take it because, you know, we don't want to be, we don't want to overwhelm ourselves and get flustered and then not complete and be disappointed and then go back into a comfortable state of not attempting to achieve what we set out to. You know what I want everybody to do? Every all, come, You know what? Let me tell you something, child. That's what I want everybody to do. Set a goal that you want to attain by the end of January. Some people can probably, some people can do at the end of the week. You know, take it however you want to take it. But find something that you want to do and set out that you've not done before or that you've been putting off and get it done by the 31st of January. 30, January, you've got 31 days on it. Whatever the last day of this month is. Have it done. And a matter of fact, I think just because since this is only the second day of the month, find two things you want to do. Come on, two. Find two things you want to do 
and have it done completely thoroughly and operating by the end of this month. Watch how proud and wonderful you make yourself feel that you've accomplished that and try and set a goal like that for everything. Something that I don't care what's, how, what it is. How, it doesn't have to be this great, grandiose situation like you just want to just like win this award by the end. If it's attainable, though, go for it. Something that's not going to confuse you, something that's not going to fluster you, but something that's going to be worth the 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 deposit of energy that you put into it that you can re that you can reap um, from that investment. So I and and, and, and that's going to be investing your time. That's going to be pro probably cutting out some things. You know, it may mean that you may not have to be on Candy Crush as long no more. It may, it may mean that you have to like put that that, that remote down or DVR some things. Honey, we live in a we live in a world where you don't have to see things live. You can DVR and table it for later. You can come on YouTube and see the show later. You see how I put that out there? You can come on here. I mean, you know, whatever it is, just make sure that you keep that focus in mind. And remind yourself all the time, I'm going to do this. Talk about it. Put it in the atmosphere. Speak to something about speak. Even if you're just speaking to yourself, I know always we can always speak to people because we're nervous about what they may say. And some people you can't tell everything to because they'll have something object objective to say about it, which most times, depending on who it's coming from, because we all say, you know, I don't care what nobody think about me. There's somebody out there that exists that you care about what they think about you. Don't lie to yourself by saying that you don't care about what people think about you. Because there may be certain people that you don't give a damn about what they think. But there are some people or persons or person that you care what they think about you. And that's okay. Because we're no man is an island. So make sure that we are just... Say that to somebody. If you feel like they can handle it. Mm. If you feel like they can handle it. Because some people can handle a, a, a brand new part of you. And that's okay. But if, but if the, the person that I'm have in mind for you. I don't know who that person is, but the type of person I have in mind for you won't shoot you down and make you feel bad. Because we know that some people out there have a problem for every solution. <laughs> we know they exist. You ain't got to name them. But you can damn them. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, you ain't got to name them. We ain't going to focus on that because we're not focusing on, 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 on no negative foolishness this time. We ain't going to do that. Because if you hear, because there are some people that didn't, that just didn't get a chance to cross over to this time. But if you hear, make it worth it. Don't don't just sit up there and say, "Oh, I made it. I'm here. 2020, my year," and da, 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 and not make it worth it. Because I mean, <laughs> what's the point? You know. Come on, powder. This is my little Maybelline powder. Get that little white off my eye. When you had it, you know, sometimes you had that white powder on your eye and make you look like you. I got it. It make you look. It can age you. That powder sitting there. But anyway. Yeah. I guess y'all can see I didn't make it over there the other day to get my eyebrows done. I didn't make it to her. I kept on saying she gonna tweeze them. She don't tweeze my eyebrows. She threads them. I don't know why I was saying tweeze. My grandma used to tweeze her eyebrows. It wouldn't make a noise. If you tweeze my eyebrows, honey, I'm gonna scream. Even though I'll just be sitting there letting her, letting her thread and it feel like a tweezer on with a machine gun. <laughs> yeah, but just go ahead and make sure that you're setting some goals for yourself. Reminding yourself, like I said, but we, like I was telling you all before, that it's okay to leave room for error and room for something to come along to boost that up as long as you don't stop it, as long as you don't quit it, and as long as you are um, leaving room for the Holy Spirit to come in and say, okay, you put a star, because you got to take a step if you want God to bless the next step. If you want God to bless the road, you got to walk. Mm. If you want to bless the road, you have to actually do the walk. He's like, I'm not going to move your feet for you. But I will bless the road you're traveling down and make sure that you can make it there. Put something in your head that's realistic. And then come to no, these things look bad. I do need to draw something on them now, cause it ain't right. I'm gonna put an eyebrow on, girl, cause this ain't right. But yeah, come to you know, come to it, and and I, I'm just so happy and proud. I just I can't get it out of my spirit that with the things that we're getting ready to see this year through people, and I'm not only just people, but people that was counted out. I'm talking about the underdog. I'm talking about the ones that people was like, that one ain't gonna do nothing, or not even that one ain't gonna do nothing. They didn't even just didn't even see you to say you ain't gonna do nothing. 
that's the ones we're going to see come out there and be on top. And they're not going to have be come on top there with bitterness because bitterness, not, you can't be bitter and do it. But they're going to come out there and be blessed and be a blessing. Let me tell you something. I know that for a fact. I'm, I, I really, really firmly believe it. And I really firmly believe that um, this is also a time where since we're setting those goals that I was uh, uh, talking to you all about, also um, try something that you never tried before, even if it's something that you absolutely have no idea about. Watch how that works for you. Do things that are different. Even if you've seen somebody else do it, it's still different because you're doing it. That makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, that looks better, huh? I should put a brown. See that brow? That's, see, that look different. You really can't tell, but it, there's some hair underneath there. She gonna hurt the hell out of me when she's thick. Because when it be too much, my hair, my eyebrow hair goes thick, honey. And these girls be trying to hold on. They don't be want to let go, huh? I be like, leave. But yeah, I'll do, do, some, do something completely out of the ordinary, something unexpected, something that you just probably talked yourself out of doing before and or, or something that you thought you couldn't do before, you know, as a, as a way of attaining the goal that you're setting forth for yourself. Try a different mode of transportation, honey. You've been driving all this time. Try being a passenger sometime. Or try taking a different road. It's going to help you in the long run. You don't know what's out there. And, you know, in all actuality, we don't know what we don't know. But I just cannot wait to see what you all are going to accomplish. I'm so excited and I'm so patient with it. And I and, I, and it even goes for myself. I mean, the things that God has told me, um, I have to do the work. And he's actually been so benevolent. He's told me what the work is and how to do it. When Noah built the ark, he told him exactly what dimensions to use. He told him what tree to cut down to use it. Told him what days to work on, when to rest. Very thorough, because it's all about him anyway. What we do in our life is always about something bigger. Even if, because even when you're doing something, especially if you're starting a business or a company or starting to do a service for something, starting up your own business, it's for somebody else. You're not starting up a business for you to be the only for you to be the only customer, are you? That wouldn't be wise. That would not be wise, Dor. But consider others, consider yourself, and manage it. I'm so excited, I'm, and I know you're worthy, and I know I'm so honored again that you are taking the time to. This is my little Chanel, my little Chanel mascara. You don't like it? It's so cute. I love it. I'll put a little bit on so I can. I, I think I'm gonna put some lashes on today. Set this mug off a little bit. But I'm so excited and honored that you all stopped by and wanted to see little old me talk about little old everything, a big old everything. <laughs> but um, I'm so, I, I'm, I just really wanted to be positive and pour that into something um, affirming to you as you, be, as you embark upon this new year, again, this new decade, this new month, this new day. You know, I'm, I'm I'm excited. I'm so excited, and I want um, I want to hear what y'all got going on. I want to hear what y'all doing. I want to hear what y'all got going on. I want to hear um, all the things. You know, please make sure that you are. Please make please make sure please make sure that you're not only following and that you're not only subscribing but you are commenting and telling me what y'all got going on like what do you what do you, what do you, what is your what is your plan like what do you want to see your um happen for yourself I'm so excited about it I mean you know hey let's do this let's figure this thing out and put these little piece of lashes on child and they're gonna tell me about a second to do I'm gonna put everything up talking running my mouth you know what I'm not wearing no lashes. That was just confirmation for you. Don't put no lash on, girl. Let's go. Y'all know I'll be getting ready for work. And I want to put one on, but I'm just going to worry about it. 
Uh uh. Brush my little powder on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, too, I want to make sure you know what. Turn. We're, when we're scrolling down Instagram or Facebook or wherever you're watching this at, or wherever you like to spend most of your time at, turn on your TV or turn on a website or a, follow a page that has some vetted true news. Find out what's going on in the world. Find out what's happening, you know, outside, uh, uh, further than your street or your backyard or your porch. You know, this is a big world and, and if we're going to be a part of it and if we're going to travel in it. We should know what's going on and more than just here. And when I say here, yes, you should go. You know, the United States is big as well. Don't get, don't get it twisted. Because some people I know live here in L.A. and never been to the beach and they from here. Get outside your neighborhood, honey, and go out there and see this world. Get you a passport. Go out there and see the rest of this world. Go see other countries. You wouldn't believe how inexpensive it is. You shock yourself trying to figure it out. Because I really believe and decree that your life is going to take you out of this country. And it's going to take you past your doorstep. It really is. And I'm excited to know about that. I really believe that. I'm with my entire heart. I really, really believe it. But yeah, let me go ahead and put a little bit of this bronzer on. Child, I'm gonna go here and um give me one second, I'm gonna go put my I'm gonna put my hair on. Hold on for me. Okay, Che, yeah, I'm here. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna keep this on real quick and put my wig on, child. Where my little spray? I think I'm gonna do it. Oh, I gotta slow down. Child I didn't have this hair forever. Mm -hmm, I love it. I got it from her imports like seven or eight years ago. I've had the same wig. It was longer. I just cut it. I don't know if I'm just up to it. Colored it. But this is where she at now. I like a little off center part, maybe. Yeah, honey, but it's time to get up out of here, child. I put that wig on like easy. One, two, three. Y'all like it? And she cute, a little wavy. Situation I curl. I put these waves in here like a week ago. It's probably time to shampoo this hair. I will. Put my little spray, my little. Pump it up. Pump it up. Bronner Brothers, honey. Yeah. But she's on, honey. Maybe I should put a pin or two in it. I usually don't wear no pin because I make my. When I make my units, I make them real snug. I make them fit my head perfectly. So I didn't really got to put no pin in it, but. I don't know. Some of my spirits saying put a pin in it, baby. Bobby pin her down. She don't need to be, but I always go with me. Yeah. But um I shall thank y'all for coming by and chit chatting with me today and listening to me and make sure that you please, please again, I can't stress it enough. Make sure you go to my YouTube page, honey. It's if you're not already here, if you're looking at this on Instagram, go to um, Deshaun Gray, D-E-S-H-O-N, and I need to get this pen. Damn, f f like and follow, subscribe, and then tell somebody else to don't just don't just keep it to yourself. Tell it, comment if you like. Let me know what's going on for your 2020, honey, for your new year. Let me know what your goal that you're going to set to do for the end of the month. Your two goals that you're going to have set to accomplish by the end of the month. And also, if you have some ideas on how to stay focused, because something you can learn from anybody, you know, so what I work, what works for me is staying focused, you know, may not work for you and vice versa, but something that works for you may work for me. So, you know, hey, get, get a get a little bit of the, come to the comments and, um, ooh, let me see. Come to the comment section. And let me know how you how you are, and let the, everybody else know and child who's um what's working for you to keep yourself focused and what your goals are, and how you want to attain them. Like we're excited to know about that. You know what? I'm here, and I'm 
Now I'm getting ready to go, child. But I will be back. I'll talk to you later. Happy New Year again. I'm so happy and honored that you came by and stopped by to chit chat. And thank you so much for everybody who's giving me so many well wishes and have said Happy New Year and all those good things. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm so honored to work with some people that I'm going to be um, working with and all those different kind of things like that. I'm so happy. So let's just see where this takes us, okay? Plan out or plan to fail. Talk to you later. Okay, bye, child. I gotta go.